So we have four salespeople trying to divide up Washington State into sales regions. Uh, and each of them will get one region to work in. So they're going to use the last diminisher method. And the way this method works is that the first person, uh, in, in the order, uh, slices off a piece that they value as a fair share. So for example, in this case, uh, our first player is Bob. And Bob really likes this area right here. And so he slices off this region here. Now the next player in, in the order, uh, looks at this piece and decides whether they think it's worth more than a fair share or less than a fair share. If they think it's worth less than a fair share, then they just pass. They say, you know, I don't really want this piece. If they think it's worth more than a fair share, like let's say Henry, uh, our next salesperson, really thinks that this is worth more than a fair share, then he can choose to trim it. So by trimming it, he makes it smaller. So he's going to trim it down to this piece here. And that gets rid of our, our original piece. Uh, so those return to the now be, to be divided parts. Uh, and Henry, by trimming it, lays claim to this portion of the state. So then the third sales, uh, salesperson, Marjo, uh, thinks that this piece is worth less than 25% and passes, and as does the fourth salesperson, uh, Beth. And so Henry, who was our trimmer there, gets this piece, uh, and so Henry is gonna lay claim, um, to that piece, or ends up with that piece at the end of the first round. So at this point, Henry is done. Henry doesn't get to play anymore. So now it goes back to Bob, because remember, Bob was the first in line. So Bob still really likes this region, so he expands out a little bit because he doesn't get that main part of Seattle, uh, and draws this new region. Now remember, Henry is out of this, uh, so Next comes, uh, Marjo. Marjo looks at this and says, you know, I really don't think that's worth a fair share. Now, Beth, on the other hand, looks at this and says, you know, I think that's worth more than a fair share. I think that's worth, uh, you know, 35% versus, you know, the 25% that's a fair share. Now, Beth has an advantage because she's the last player. So, even though she values this as, like, 35%, uh, she can be a little sneaky here and say, okay, I'm going to trim this. I'm going to trim it like that much. In other words, she didn't really trim it at all, right? She can trim it if, where it essentially doesn't change the value. Uh, so she does that, and by doing so, she lays claim to it. And so she ends up with this piece that she values as, in fact, more than a fair share. But remember, None of the people before her would have valued this as a fair share. Uh, Marjo passed on it, and technically she trimmed it smaller than, you know, Bob had originally drawn it. Whichever way you look at it, though, uh, it, at most it would be worth a fair share to Bob. So now Bob and Marjo are the only players left. Um, and since there are two of them, we can always, uh, finish off with divider chooser. As so whenever we have two people, we can always do divider chooser. And so they flip a coin, and maybe, uh, Marjo is the divider. So Marjo decides, you know, I don't really like traveling over the mountains, so let's go ahead and divide the state in half this way, uh, and then you can choose. So Bob decides, yeah, you know, I think I'll take this side. So, so Bob lays claim to the, to the east side of the mountains, and then Marjo is left with the rest of the west side, and we have ourselves a division using the last diminisher method.